maybe a bad move. There's a lot of people around here who like their guns, you know. Okay. I'm definitely pro pro assault rifle. Well, if Dix does it, and uh, you know, there's other sporting goods stores do it, it's going to send a message to the gun makers, you know, if it. Because these guys sell more guns than your little neighborhood place. Plenty of opinions outside Dick's Sporting Goods today on the company's decision to no longer sell assault rifles, high capacity magazines, and a few other things, and no longer sell guns to minors under 21. The announcement made on CNN by the company CEO Edward Stack two weeks to the day Parkland, Florida high school students returned to the classroom following the deadly mass shooting that killed 14 of their classmates and three teachers. You know, everybody talks about thoughts and prayers going out to them, and that's, that's great. But that doesn't really do anything, and we felt that we needed to take a stand and do this. It's a stance being praised by the father of one of the victims. I will be going to Dick's Sporting Goods today to buy something, because you know what? I am so proud of them and so happy that they are taking a voluntary step to make our kids safer to make all of us safer in any public facility. But the announcement has small gun retailers shying away from our cameras. Most saying no comment. Others said they predict their sales will rise as a result. Others saying their customers are unhappy with the talk of guns and restrictions altogether. But it's a decision certainly being driven by the younger generation. Many fed up with mass shootings as several rallies take place across the nation. We actually sold the shooter a shotgun in, uh, in November of last year. And we looked at that and found out that we did this. We had a pit in our stomach. Well, the CEO also mentioned in that interview that their stance is not something that they are pushing on to other companies to do. Rather, it's something that they feel comfortable with. Reporting live in Glen Burnie, Theo Hayes, WBAL-TV 11 News.